Hi, and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Lois here, and today I'm going to be painting this winter snow scene. It's a line and wash painting, which means I've started off with a sketch in pencil, and then once the pencil sketch is how I want it to be, I've gone over my pencil sketch with waterproof black fine liners. I've sped it up because it can be quite a long process, but this should give you an idea of how I go about sketching out um, my outline, ready to go over it with the waterproof ink, which will then provide the structure for my painting and some of the darker tones. I'm using a reference photograph, um, which is provided on Patreon if you're interested. You can see that I started off by using a carpenter's pencil. I like the heavy lead in a carpenter's pencil because it gives me some really good sketchy lines and I can get different weights of lines by adjusting the pressure on the pencil. Now onto the fine liner outline, building up some of the shadows and the outline and building up some nice texture on the barn as well keeping the rest of the details really sketchy and really light. The trees on the left make a nice framing device for the scene. Then I can go in with a thicker fine liner and get some thicker marks in towards the foreground in the tree trunks. Um, just a few of the grasses and plants that are growing out of the snow in the foreground. And then I decided just to um, turn the door into like an open barn door and have that completely in shadow. Just some final texture, a little bit of extra shading just to remind me to keep parts of the barn nice and dark so that others stand out more. And that's my line work done. These are the colours that I've got out today. I might not use them all. From left to right, ultramarine, alizarin crimson, burnt sienna, raw sienna, burnt umber and neutral tint. As well as the reference photograph, there'll be the line work over on Patreon for you to download um, and copy or trace if you're interested in that. So follow the link below. I'll be painting it wet in wet and starting off with a nice pale sky and then bringing the colour down across most of the painting and introducing some burnt sienna into the snow colours to build up the base for the scene.
So that's the first layer just about done. And you can see that I've got this lovely sort of lilac snow laden sky with the colours reflecting in the snow, leaving some of the snow white so it stands out. But I've introduced that burnt sienna with a bit of um, neutral tint in places into the barn, the distant tree line um, around the fence and the trees on the left. And now bringing a little bit of a darker tone into this end this gable end of the barn and I forgot to say that I included a bit of um, lavender by Holbein in my sky mix I felt it needed that just to give a little bit of um, opacity to the sky color now it needs to dry completely and then I can come back and just add a little bit more detail to it So here it is, it's dried nicely. I'm afraid the light in my studio is not very good because the clouds have just come over. It's a really dull day. Um, I need to get some studio lights sorted out, but I will get that sorted out soon. I'm going to use um, um, a darker value of this sort of um, greyish violet shadow color to add shadows to the snow. I should put them across the snow along the path and then lead them from the trees on the left up over the building and hopefully that will bring the scene together.
So I'm going to call that finished. I'm quite happy with this as a first try at this kind of a scene. Removing the um, masking tape from the border um, helps me to see it with this clean white edge and I can see that everything is looking okay and I'm quite pleased with the way it works. There's a few things that I would do differently if I painted it again. I think I'd mix up a slightly greyer shadow mixture and I'd probably darken up some of the tones in front of the, um, the shadow side of the barn, just around the bottom of the door. Uh, but I could always do that a bit later, and I think I probably will. Um, I forgot to tell you the paper that I was using. It was Milford cold-pressed watercolour paper, £140 weight, and it was taped to my board with ordinary decorators, masking tape, and my board was at an angle of about 20 to 30 degrees. Well, I hope you enjoyed um, watching that one unfold and I hope you'll have a go at maybe a similar sort of line and wash. And if you're interested in the reference photograph and, of course, the line work to download, copy or trace, then um, head over to Patreon by following the link below. Many thanks for watching. Please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel. It's free and it really helps with our reach. And thanks so much to everyone that, that follows us and supports us on Patreon. Um, we really appreciate you. I'll see you again soon. Take care and happy painting. Bye. <laughs>